always second oh, guess it. Cause there it, we go. It's changed how it looks until we hit uh -huh. go live. Hey guys, we're just making sure we have a commercial and we're connected. That's stinkeroony. I think God would just say, God dang it. I say, God dang it. <laughs> dang damn it. That's kind of how it sounded <laughs> when it came out too. Oh shoot, I got an ad. Oh yeah, Take I don't away. have YouTube on. My okay, head. we're good. Okay. Hey friends, happy Wednesday frenzy. I'm so excited you're here with me today. We're gonna paint a chickadee, the traceables on my website, annietro.com. Once you hit the traceable landing page, you scroll down to the tab on the left that says birds. They're big tabs. And you'll see this one. I printed it out, so it was originally four by four. I printed it out 10 inches by 10 inches. Scribbled on the back with chalk pastel. Taped it to my 10 inch by 10 inch cradled wood panel from, I'm gonna drop this on the floor. U.S. Art Supply. <laughs> Maybe, I hope I'm getting some for my birthday and Christmas. I'm looking at, Emily's here with me tonight. I don't know. Someone told me to buy you paintbrushes last week, so maybe you need those more. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Here's what the cradled wood panel looks like. I'll go over my colors. Emily's going to zoom us in. I started working on this yesterday when I was working at the gallery because 10 inches by 10 inches is going to take me longer. And I think... I, I kind of skipped. I think that's the intro. Yeah, I think okay. so. All right, Emily. I'm collecting our strings. The, Hang on. Our, uh, our microphone cords. Mm -hmm. I don't have the chat open tonight, guys. Emily will let me know if, if you ask a question. Oh, do you need help? Nope. Okay. I just kind of wanted to... I keep thinking about it. I should put my bulletin board up, and then I'm like, I have freshly painted walls, so I'm like... I know. It's hard. I could command strip it up. Yeah, sometimes that isn't great when it sits on there for a while. I know, yeah. I mean, it is, you can, if you go slow and gentle, you can get lucky. Yeah. Well, I don't, <laughs> that funny story is, um, Chase had something command stripped on his, like, childhood bedroom. Ooh, um, so for a while. And Mark didn't, well, no, because command oh. strips didn't exist back then. It was oh, something true. I made him. True. And then... We command stripped it on so we didn't have to put a hole in the wall and Mark didn't know his command stripped on. He just ripped it off the wall and it took the, oh. it took uh, like everything off. Oh, here, I'm going to go to YouTube so I can see how this looks. Okay, great. I do have it angled towards me a little bit and then the phone's only angled a little bit, but the, the stream makes it look even more angled. Uh, I'm using my, my primary colors. So Thalo Blue Green Shade, Quinacridone Magenta, Cad Yellow Medium Hue, Titanium White, I skipped Mars Black. And then I mixed a blue with a, some Thalo Blue White, some black, and even a little magenta, just to mute down the blue. And that's this blue in the background. And I think it probably looks quite blue in the, the video stream. Uh, what else? Oh, and I put in the background, I had just like a little hint of quinacridone I blended in there while it was wet. And then after the background was dry, it just pretty much went from a darker blue to a lighter blue. And I started to work on the bird. I thought, oh, it's too plain. So then I came back, I mixed a, pulled some of this color over here, put some magenta in it to make it a little more periwinkle color. And then I took, I used this brush for the background, kind of skipped that. So one inch from low Cornell. And then for these swoops, I used this three quarter inch flat brush from Royal and Lane Nickel. Oh, here, I could do this to see if I'm in frame. I keep forgetting. I can you look are. at the back of my phone. My iPad, I'm going to scoop my iPad. Oh, it just won't. And then I took some of that purple and went right over the bird. I don't know if you can see that here. And I can paint over it again just to bring in a little more interest into the background. I did the same thing with a sort of a pinkish watered down color. You could use matte medium over the feet. I might come back and do that again when I'm, after I put the, the whole foot in. I kind of like that it, it's like a, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this looks like spring with the leaves, so I'm gonna have it snowing. <laughs> and then another, I put this swoosh in here just to make it a little more interesting. And then I, and then, and then, have I said and then a lot tonight? And then. I just was trying to put some color in because I didn't want my chalk pastel to rub off on the way home, on the drive home from the gallery. So I, that's basically what I'm doing. I thought, well, let's put some blue in the shadow area. You know, I put in a couple of brush strokes for the wing. Uh, my reference photo. There we go. We need to talk about that. 
the link is in this video's description. You're going to get picked here. I was going to show you picture in picture here. <laughs> oh, I scooted it to the side. Yep, there you go. Yeah, a little um, lower. Probably. A little lower. Yeah, you can. Um, the reference photo, I think, is on Pixabay. The link is in this video's description. And then I also linked, I painted this chickadee traceable two years ago on a small, I think it was a 4x4 four four or 5x5, five five, and then it was a green background, and it, I, I like it. I was starting to get better then, um, but I think it's too, it had like a whole circle in the background. I think that was too much for my personal preference. I think the light, we're just going to say, is coming from the top because he's just got a lot of light on him. It's Pixabay. <laughs> it's Pixabay? Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to take, actually, I'm going to work on the eye, which I don't know if you'll be able to see very well, but we'll get that done quick. We'll get the branch done, and then uh, we'll work on the bird. So in that case, I'm going to use a little, oh, I, this is a three over zero. I got it from U.S. Art Supply. They're all right. I mean, they're, I like the Royal and Lang Nickel better and the Princeton and the, um, what else do I have? Are they all, a lot of them are Royal and Lang Nickel. I just have different lines. They're Zen line, they're prepackaged line. I was thinking there was another brand. Oh, the Low Cornell. Okay, I'm going to work on the eye. And Emily, I think I have set the table with no extra comments. Okay. <laughs> I was waiting for you to say, and, uh, yeah. uh, let's see here. Uh, so far tonight in the chat, we have Cindy, Deborah, Melinda, and Andy. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining me tonight. We only have six other friends. I think this one's already turning out better than the one I painted two years ago. You guys can go back and critique my growth. Yeah, I, I, yeah, you don't have to comment in the chat if you don't want to. I just, I like seeing you, but I just pressured him, didn't I? Mm -hmm. That's fine. <laughs> you don't have to. So I just painted it in a color to have the eye there. And now I'm, I, what I do with eyes usually I work up to darker values. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get closer here. I think part of it too is I've gotten better from to painting off the off to the side yeah. rather than on yes. top of a painting. Because I video everything. Well I guess that's not true. I didn't video the little daisy ornament I did yesterday at the gallery. Oh. But I pretty much video everything. Oh, took a little black Stick it into my brown, which I don't know if I needed to do that. Um, I'm going to zoom in on his eye and see if I can get any hints. Oh, he's pretty much got a, here, I don't know if you can see it. He pretty much has a black rim all the way around his eye and an eyeball in the center. Hmm. Well, our pupil, sorry. Mm -hmm. I said eyeball. It does help. It probably needs to be darker. Maybe I'll just make it blue. Just take some, I mean, just, I'm not going to hold up my palette. Just take some straight up phthalo blue green shade. Cool. Ooh, I missed my water. <laughs> I don't know if that's in, in video, but I went beyond it. Mm -hmm. This is a three, also a three over zero. Are they the same number? Oh, this is a two over zero. Brush numbers vary per brand. It's just even littler. I'm going to take straight up Mars black and then rim it. Yeah, you pretty much have black all the way around. My eyes tend to grow and get a little bit bigger, just like my trees. A lot of things tend to get a little bit bigger. And it doesn't have to be a circle. You can just do like a bunch of straight little lines. Okay, we're gonna let that dry. It's quiet. It's quiet. It was noisy just minutes ago. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to use this for the tree branch, 3 8 inch angle brush from Royal and Langnickel. It came in a pack of four or five brushes from Michaels. Let's see. That, that, that thought was, where's the light coming from? I might just kind of stamp. It's not working. Hmm. Probably should work on bigger areas. It'd be more interesting. You can work wherever you wanna. <laughs> Thanks. I switched back to that little little brush I used for the eye. No, I'm not getting any paint on it. Yeah. Probably should make the leaves red if it's gonna snow. Ooh, yeah. Now that they're green. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Here, what happens? I'm just gonna take you can that. You dead them up a little bit. Well, maybe I can put a little, just orange right on top, it's transparent. Mm-hmm. Have it make just a little more. We could put some yellow on the top. This happens all the time, I think of something, and then I'll just do it, even if it's not efficient, because then I don't forget. This is yellow, cad yellow medium hue. I don't know if that did anything on that one. Okay, branch. So to make the brown, I used, you could just use this orange. I used yellow and more, uh, more yellow than quinacridone magenta and some black until I get a a brown I like. You can make it yellower, rustier. And I pulled this, a little bit of this out and made an orange so it was just a little softer orange. I don't know why. Probably because I was just sitting at the gallery playing. Cindy said, or asked, um, so do you like your new art room, Annie? It looks like you have more room for painting. No, we have less room. I mean, <laughs> yes, I like, yes, I like it. It's smaller, but I have two offices now. I have an office and I have a studio. Yeah. But I think this is smaller with a big closet. Yeah, it's got good storage. It has great storage. It has mm -hmm. a big walk-in closet. Mm -hmm. Whoops. I want that grayer. Um, we're figuring it out. The, lighting, the lighting's better. Yeah. Already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think... Um, the wall's warmer gray. It's a gray, but it's a warmer gray. You will in the... The overhead light is, is warmer. Warmer, whereas the other place we were fighting with like blue lights. <laughs> yeah. I was so excited about the light that I thought was going to be there. I'm like, oh, mm. nope. Yeah, but at night it, like, it was so big, so we just were like plopped there, and then um, it like swallowed all the light we would yeah. put in there. Yeah, it did. Yeah, so smaller is better, really. Yeah, you don't have to have as much. You don't have to have, you, we would definitely would have had to probably get like two more lamps. Yeah, we would have gotten more lighting or something. Yeah. I'm just doing little brush stroke direction things here. You don't have to do that. You could um, just put in like a big. It looks fuzzy already. Big stroke. Yeah, tomorrow I'm going to start a 12 by 18 on my larger. It's for an upright easel. It's, I remember. I remember. I bought it because it fit in that small space in my mm -hmm. original studio. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh yeah. Are you still thinking about the crank or no? I want the crank, but it's too big. Yeah. I mean, it's not that much bigger, but I don't have much room. I know. Um, I'll wait. We'll just wait a year or something to see. I do want to buy more you things could. while they're on sale, though, because it's a good time of year. Like, I have a couch coming Saturday, and it, and it's actually moving twice to saving me money because it's like. I think we cut the living room cost in half. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. the new Because everything's on sale. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it's just a couch and a side table and a chair. Yeah. So that part's been great. Um, but I w you could join your 
office office in your art room and you could stick it in there. I've thought about that. Mm-hmm. And just move everything. Move the lighting. Yeah, just, and... well, you could take that rolly cart with you when you paint in there, you know? Yeah. Well, yeah, I could. I was, yeah, I don't know. I think I just wait. I know, yeah. That'd be nice because I can't get that little thing to go up very well. Um, the, my upright easel is cranky trying to move it up. Do you need me to move it? No, I, I don't. No, I don't think so. Okay. No, it was on the floor. I, I thought, okay, how many notches do I want it up <laughs> before I put it up right? Yeah. yeah. So I think this is going to be white. I keep, I, it's too dark. So what I'm doing here where we're chatting is I'm like, oh, that's too dark. And then I'm like, oh, that's too light. But I just want, I'm going to put white on top of it. So I just want some color going underneath. But I like it. I mean, there's a lot to love. Nothing's, mm -hmm. nothing is ever, it made me nervous when I looked at this place, like, oh, the bedrooms are, the extra it bedrooms always, are small. It was small. Yeah. That's the nice thing about, like, I, I would well, always. Well, I wasn't going to give away any details. Oh. It's okay, sweetie. Bye. <laughs> I always, um, like, when I, I, we go through, when I would go through new builds for clients, when I worked at the design firm, it just, like, God, it's so itty. Oh, I had builder clients as a graphic designer. Yeah, they just like got smaller. It and just smaller gets, yes, and smaller. yeah, yeah. Thinking about like um, the difference between um, even like Chase's parents have moved recent recently, and I guess never mind because they 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 have a couple bedrooms that are decent size that are about the same size as the house they had prior, which was probably twenty years old. Yeah, probably. Um, or almost 20? Somewhere there. But yeah, I feel like they're just making bedrooms so itty bitty. Yeah. Yeah, this has a huge walk-in closet, so I've got all my... That is nice, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is and nice. I could arrange it different. Well, I probably won't keep as much inventory, which will help too. You, you know what you need is a lot of paint to fill it. <laughs> <laughs> just fill it with a wall of paint. It'll look like Michael's in there. <laughs> well, I've been thinking I need to get everything up off the floor and on shelves because I keep bending over for everything. Oh yeah. Mm hmm I'm like, uh. Don't have doesn't have to happen right away, but it's like ugh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like I, I don't want to talk about like I mean just be safe just on the mm -hmm. off chance, but um I like the view, I like the neighborhood. I met my new neighbor, and they're leaving. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. Kind of funny. That was funny. I'm just shifting the color and thinking there's going to be some wraparound light. So I have some. So this is why paintings take me a while. Because I get into the little, little detail. Actually, what might be kind of fun is to make them black. I'm just going to stamp. I don't know if you can see it. Oops. It's nice. I'm, 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 I'm unpacked, I think. I was stuttering there. Mm -hmm. I think I'm unpacked. There's, there aren't any boxes. So that's nice. I have Christmas lights out, and then I moved them, and now I've got a section that's dark. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I think that's... I think I broke it. Yeah, that's not like we can change the bulb out and fix it kind of dark. Oh. And Ellie's like, you should have waited for me, which I should have, but she's done so much for me. I'm like, I'll get this done. And I break it. I'm getting hung up. I'm liking the detail, but I'm getting hung up, and I don't know if it's really important, that important. I'm going to take a little black and a little blue. Just, I don't know. Shift the color. I don't know if it'll show. Oh, it shows. Okay. It was starting to look like a bird. It was starting to look, it was starting to look like a bird earlier because I was nervous. I can't. 
I was at the gallery yesterday painting this. I'm like, okay, how long is this going to take me to finish? Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, okay, have I painted too much? Well, but I want to paint a little more. <laughs> I kept wrestling with myself. Oops, wrong color. I think I'll just grab some of that blue-black I made. What I shouldn't do is paint the beak because the feathers go over the beak. I'm going to just kind of wipe out my brush and grab a smaller one. Do I have... There's a quarter inch flat Royal and Lane Nickel. It's pretty much the same value in the reference photo. I'm going to grab kind of a dirty... Oh, you can probably hear me scraping on it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's picking up on the microphone. We're going to be 60 degrees, I think, tomorrow. Oh, my gosh. Okay, tomorrow I need to... I keep putting off, like... Um, I have a cover for a, a chair we have on our patio or whatever, back deck or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I keep putting off, like, taking the cushions inside and taking them downstairs. Like, tomorrow's going to be, like, my last day I can do that. I got to I gotta get it in. Well, it's a good thing I broke, tried to move my Christmas lights and broke them. You don't have time. Oh, I got time. That brush isn't working very well. Probably because it's old and fuzzy. I want it to hold a better point. Just grab this small one. It's also bugging me because I'm painting off to the side. I don't suggest you guys do that. There. That might be it. And she plays with it. We have about seven minutes till commercial. Mm -hmm. Eight minutes. Okay. <laughs> Tinker says, hello, I was here before it started, but there was no chat box on my Kindle oh. that I was trying to watch on and watch it on. So, hello. Hi, hey, Tinker. Tinker. I didn't know that Kindle had YouTube. I bet that's one of those, like, Kindle-y, fiery, typey ones that are more tablet than, like, I'm picturing, like, Kindle paper <laughs> or paper white or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. So, I assume Emily has Kindle Unlimited. I do. And I assume that's like the cheaper option? No. Oh, because they don't have like current books in on audio. Well, but they're Audible does. for reading. <laughs> they're mostly for reading. <laughs> they're not Audible because Audible exists. But I think know? Audible would cost me about the same per month. And then I still have to pay different pricing depending on yes. the book. Yeah, usually I think you get like, you can assume you're going to get like a book free a month. You'd think? Yeah, it depends on the plan. I was looking at the plans, yeah. Um, the cheaper plan. But yeah, like Kindle Unlimited, I, you can just read however... Whatever's on Kindle Unlimited, you can read how many, whenever, when, wherever, for free, theoretically, under the subscription. But Audible, you pay for each thing yeah. you listen to. I forgot to look. I didn't get too far into the Spotify... And also, I still have my window open from last week that has Libby and I think Marty said Hula Hoop? Hula? Something? Hoopla? Hoopla, maybe? Is that a book title? It's, like it's like public library so app oh, services. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Last week's live. So they do, they do audio books and stuff. I'm fussing over that beak. Yeah, I forgot to look into that too. I was looking at AI services today because I think two artists on YouTube that I know of, I'm sure more than two, are using it to create reference photos. Mm. And I'm like, I, I, have mixed, I don't know what to think about it. I mean, I like that idea. And then I saw something where you can't copyright a generated images which makes sense mm -hmm. but there's still not a lot of laws of course copyright's just a mess anyway kind of mm -hmm. um, I get in trouble for it not the manufacturer you know mm -hmm. um, I don't know I just don't know what to think but I, I didn't find anything that's like I kept searching free and it's like well you can do a couple free and then you gotta yeah. pay yeah I'm like I want free free no 
I went free, 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 free. There isn't free, free, free for those image ones now, yet. I need to pick up the speed. I was gonna do the branch. What about? I'll do the branch and didn't do the commercial. No, I was gonna say the Photoshop though, but it's not that great. I've kind of tried it. It's not that great. So Adobe Firefly is that what you're talking about? No, I was thinking about the just like when you can literally just oh, like draw a circle and the content aware. Fill yeah, the content aware fill, and you could type in anything you want, and then it'll fill it with the. That's with not that. a bad idea. I'll have to read their terms of service. Oh. Well, it's not that great of a generator if you're just doing it that way, though. I I don't know about the Firefly thing. So I read, I, there, oh, there's actually, there's another artist that uses the Adobe Firefly, and then she provides the image for free for her patrons, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure you can't do that. Oh, yeah. Um, and I, I try. she didn't ask for it, and it was rude to me, but I tried to tell her, like, hey, you should look into this. Here, here's the link. Uh-huh. And she's like, no, it's fine. You know, I know what I'm doing. I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. You're absolutely right. I appreciate your time and information, you know. Yeah. I knew it was not cool of me, but to try to help her, she didn't ask for it. Anyway, um, Adobe Firefly, you, oh, I can't remember anymore, but I would not use it as she's using it. And I wouldn't use it as a reference photo for licensing my mm. art. Because it's through their Adobe mm -hmm. library, correct? Yeah. And I think it might be okay for some things, but then once you're not a subscriber, then you lose... Anything you created, you lose. You can't show it anymore. Because mm -hmm. then you don't have the license anymore. Mm -hmm. So you have to be a perpetual member. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like Canva. Like, yeah. you have to be a perpetual member if you're going to yep. use Canva That's to... That's a lot of them work. Yeah. You're, if you're <clears> going <throat> to use Canva to, like, create t-shirt designs or sell, cre recreate a design to then sell, turn around and sell that design, you have to be a member or, like, a sub you have to pay for the subscription. A certain, sometimes a certain subscription that includes, and sometimes they'll even tell you like, you know, 50,000 prints. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, runs or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm not against any of that. I'm just like, ah, oh, you got to read. I know. Because then I feel like when you're small beans, it doesn't really matter, you know. Or you don't get caught. Yeah. Like, or if you're just bother. doing it for yourself. Like, I was going to make Chase a Christmas present using oh. technically a licensed... No like or a licensed sports team and then but it's just going to chase and i paid for it and it's yeah i'm not set i'm not reselling it no so you're not making any money off yeah that. and one that but also like they're never gonna find out about that so no, i, I think those are some, it's just when you, if you ever did become big beans then, well, they, then they'll find your, what you did when you were small beans. <laughs> my, my little beans are still licensing with big companies. That too, yeah. Since you license, it's a different beast. Well, it's a pain. And there's just no way around any of it. Even the Creative Commons Zero photos I use, I'm, I still get nervous every once in a while. Because mm -hmm. they could get bought out. Anyway, I'm, I'm not against AI necessarily, but I'm just like, I'm not sure. There's no line about it yet, so yeah. it's hard to know. I love ChatGPT though. He knows about you. <laughs> you. Remember? That was so funny. Chase was testing out ChatGPT for the first time. I totally pulled it from my YouTube yes. and my website. And he was like, and Chase is like, do you know, do you, have you ever watched any Cho's YouTube videos? Or he's something like and that. And he's like, I cannot watch any Cho's YouTube videos as I am an AI robot. Oh, that's right. But here's what I found on Annie Cho. She paints, it was just like something from your bio basically. Yeah, it was something I wrote. It was so funny. Cracked me up. Because, like, I, I, all of a sudden I look over because he's like, Emily, we've got to try out ChatGPT. It's like the second thing he types is asking if he knows who you are. <laughs> that was funny. That was a good laugh. I decided to put cool up there. I'm going to have that in the shadow. And then we'll go warmer. I wasn't showing my palette down here. Oh, Marty's here. Marty, was it the hoop, Hoopla? Is that what it was called? Were you? Did you mention the app Hoopla last week? For um, for books, audiobooks, audiobooks, or just books? Oh, I totally took that out of. Here. I think it was a library service. I can't remember who mentioned that. I think it was a hula hoop or Hoopla. Hula hoop's cute. Hula hoop. I think it was Hoopla. I think it was Hoopla. It's not on all the way. <laughs> yes, hoopla. I need to look into that. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I wanted to listen to um, Water for Elephants, which is Ooh. a book I read a long time ago, and I can mm -hmm. vaguely remember. I'm like, oh, I want to hear that again. Mm -hmm. And so, of course, I can read it again, but with Kindle Unlimited, I can't hear it again. Yeah. I'm like, oh. So then I started Googling, searching, like, Sue Grafton, because I read some of hers way back in the day, back mm -hmm. before I started drawing in the car, mm -hmm. the car kid pickup line. <laughs> um no, you know, not on unlimited audio. Mm -hmm. I'm like, dang, darn. I mean, it's okay, but I'm just a little frustrated trying to find something to read. That's why I said you just got to stick to the the where I told you and yeah. then venture from there. Because, like, if you just search, you're well, going to get so sad. Well, I went six pages in, and I'm just like, ugh. Oh. Yeah. So I downloaded a Dean Koontz. I think he's mystery. I haven't read him. Mm -hmm. Him? I think it's a him. Um, cause there's lots of those. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I want to read, I want, you know, I think there's, I haven't looked, but I think there's Harry Potter. But like when I search, well, I can search it and then like go back and try and find, I can search it. Mm -hmm. And sometimes there's a glitch to where it, um, it'll say it's like, it's audio, like I'll Google like the 10 best audio books on Kindle Unlimited. Unlimited. Um, and then it'll, it'll say, like, it said water for elephants. Um, they also change. Yeah. It's just like Netflix, you know? Yeah. Like, I'll, I have a list of, like, or um, on my Kindle, it'll be like, get it, watch, read it before it's gone type list. Yeah. So I can find it on the computer, but sometimes it's hard to find and get it on my iPad. Mm -hmm. I might have sent you a book last night. I'm sorry if I did. I don't think so. Okay, good. I need to just kind of stop. That actually might be okay. I'm going to take some of my background color while I'm thinking of it. And a little white and a dirty brush. Marty okay. says our local library should be online. Yeah, I need to do that. I haven't done that yet. Yeah, and then I can swipe through you because I did something wrong and now they've denied me entry. <laughs> oh, maybe that was me last night. What? Oh, no, no, the library. The this library. was, yeah, like right when I, before I was, when I was looking into like, okay, do I want a Kindle? Am I going to read enough? Do I want to pay for the Kindle Unlimited? Like, what do I want to do? And I was looking into the library stuff. And then I tried to apply to our library and I don't know what I did. And I think I did it wrong. And then it's, it denied me. I don't know if I, I'll have to see if I can get in. I need to write down or I'm not going to do it. Remember? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to do a commercial because we're at a chatting stopping point. I'm going to spray just lightly mist with my stay all night <laughs> microfine <laughs> setting mist from e.l.f. Except for it's just water. It's just water. Oh, so I left the metal You left the ball, ball in, in there. there. <laughs> but it's really nice. I know. It's you a probably great can't even fine see mist. that fine mist. Okay. I want to thank Sandra H. for sending money through PayPal. Um, someone from Lincoln... Oh, hey, oh, hi, Freckles. Becky. Someone from Lincoln, Nebraska purchased on my ann-tro.pixels.com website. The link's in this video's description. It's where I have my prints, Happy. like metal prints, wood prints, canvas prints. It also has all kinds of crazy things like greeting cards. I'm sorry if you guys who show up every week hear that most of the time. Um, anyway, someone from Lincoln, Nebraska bought a print of the Eurasian Eagle Owl. Oh. I love the colors on that one. Uh -huh. And a print of Chet the Reindeer. And I named it Chet because that's the young learning to fly reindeer in Santa Claus too. Which is a little dicey, but he's not been popular in merchandise. Mm -hmm. So I figured it's okay to name the painting Chet and just sell the original. Now that I've just told the whole world that, who knows. Uh, Lorna H. sent money through PayPal, thank you. And then someone from Meadow, New York, bought a print um, of chatting online. So Ooh, thank you, thank, thank, you, thank you, thank you, guys. I super appreciate your support. Oh, and somebody who was visiting in Omaha, I don't know who they were, bought the the deer in the snow little small 6x6 six six painting I we did not too long ago. So that was exciting. Yay. Thanks, guys. It, all of it helps. It, all, every little bit adds up. Okay. I need to move. Frickle's mad at me because I didn't pick her up, but my one hand is wet, so oh. I couldn't pick her up. I tried to tell her, like, I put the stinky nail mm. polish in front of her face. Yeah, like, <laughs> hey, girl. But she didn't, she didn't care. 
She got herself up though. Hi, Dick. Ooh, that's light. I think that laugh woke her up. My cackle. Oh, could be. Um, yeah. There was a fix it guy here yesterday that stresses her out. Mm. So her sleep, so she was following me around and says sleeping. Yeah. You sleeping know, and I was gone at the gallery yesterday. So all those things kind of. She's the sweetest though. Yeah. I, this isn't working. I need to leave it alone. It's starting to lift. Um, yeah, but she moved the second time like a champ. Mm hmm Oh, big old jean. Okay, let's work on the leg. I put just some fun colors in the leg plus swiped pink over it. It's all right. I might cover them up. We might, some of it might show through. Hmm. Oh, you know what I'm going to do when the eyes dry? I'm going to take, and I have this little brush. I'm going to take some of the brown. I'm going to put the pupil back in. I do that all the time. Oh, oh no hug, no hug. I can't take my mic off. <laughs> no hug. I don't think it's ever that loud the few times I've listened. I always get it off. Oh. So she doesn't rub her furry body against it. I was thinking I'd sneak in a blue there, but I didn't really like it. Oh, what did we, I didn't, I think, I didn't point it out last week, but we hit 12,000 subscribers. Oh, we did. That's so exciting. That is so exciting. Hey. I didn't ever think we'd get that many. Yeah, thanks for being subscribed and watching the videos. Oh, yeah, and the comments. I, every time I see the comments, I'm just, I grin from ear to ear, like, oh, I know, you know, so-and-so. And, oh, that's yeah. so-and-so. Oh, thanks for stopping by or whatever yeah. I say, you know. I truly love it. When you see familiar faces once, you know. Well, familiar um, avatars? I don't know. What Icons. Icons. Icons photos, yeah. Things. There's a bunch of names. Yeah, I like it. Marty says she just wants everyone to know she's an Annie fan. <laughs> oh, thanks. Uh, Chase popped in with his 9.99 and his goat emoji. Chase, man, I don't know if I'm going to see you tomorrow. We haven't decided where we're doing dinner. Yeah. Do we, does he get a, a vote, a say? I don't oh. know. Did, oh, she did her, like, battery powering down sound. Yeah, she does a yawn, and it, it just sounds like a battery. Powering. Dying yeah. on a toy. Bow. It's funny. Does Chase get a say? I don't know. He never has gotten a say before. Oh, okay. Emily made sloppy joes at my house last Thursday. They were from scratch and to die for. Little green chilies in them. You know, brown sugar, ketchup, Worcestershire. Is that how you say that? Um, whole onion. There's other things in there. A little chili powder. Chili powder, mustard. Mustard. Garlic onion. It was good. And then I had enough enough for one more sandwich the next day, and I love it when it sits in the fridge for a day. It's even better. It's like chili. Yeah, I got, I, was, I brought home whatever you didn't want, and I, Chase liked it, so we're, I, we bought stuff for it this week. <laughs> It was good. Mm -hmm. I haven't had sloppy joes in so long. Same. Well, Jack, uh, favorite son Jack doesn't care for. Yeah. So, yeah, we would never have them, like, Sunday dinner kind of stuff. Oh, we would so. Or any. Them. I guess, like, when we were really young, like, any dinner. <laughs> yeah. I made it for a little while. Well, it's kind of sloppy joes. I guess fall would maybe be yeah, the like start that. of sloppy joe season. But, like, when the second it's cold out like I just want something warm for like every dinner pretty much you know yeah. whereas I could live off of colder dinners in the summer sure yeah sandwich is fine yeah but soup is better in the winter what's cold outside okay leg oh I don't even need to look at my reference photo because the legs aren't the same mm -hmm. <laughs> um that probably dried on me Marty says yummy with the drooly emoji. <laughs> and love the chickadee with the heart emoji. Oh, thank you. The traceable's on my web, 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 website, anytro.com. Once you hit the traceable landing page, scroll down to birds.
That might be too dark. I'm going to put it in. So I'm just kind of wiggling. I feel like I'm breathing loud tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. I can't even. I can. Am I? I hear you twice because, like, I have my headphones on and then. Oh, that's awful. That's fine. <laughs> it's, it's far enough apart that I can kind of tune out my headphones if you're talking. Wow. That's talent, kiddo. Oh, that's too close to the value of my background color, which is okay if you want it to disappear. Let's maybe just take a brown. Well, I was going to talk about my next, um, the thing I was crocheting that I was excited about because I bought like a skein of a weird type of yarn, I guess, that I had didn't know what to do with, and then the initial thing I wanted to do with it, I would probably have to buy like 30 skeins, so then I didn't. Ooh. But then I just remembered that. Libby told me that the last, last at least last week, but maybe Is she listening weeks, and we don't know they it? Like, yeah, they turned it on while they're cooking dinner, because by the time they're both home from the office, it's like 6 o'clock. So, hey, Cody, Libby, if you're listening. Yeah, so I was like, mm, let's not talk about it. Oh, yeah. Because oh. I don't want someone to see it. Just in case. But it's cool. I'll, sh I'll talk about it. I see her Friday, so I'll talk about it next week. Because it's like an interesting kind of yarn that I really... I was going to make something way different out of it. And then that was in the beginning of me not knowing like how many yards is really going to get me how far. Oh, yeah. And I would have to buy like so many skeins of it to make what I wanted to make. <laughs> kind of like me and the Christmas lights ended up in the exact same spot. Yeah, they did. I looked out the window and I'm like, they didn't, it does not look like you moved them. I started them further and wrapped them tighter. And then it's looser uh, under the gate. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I saw that. And I told you the gate opens out. Yes. Yeah. I remember now I can... And then you also broke a section. Must have. <laughs> it's funny what makes me mad. At least I think it's funny. Like, that made me mad. It's such a little thing, you know. Mm -hmm. That's kind of like, the, Chase does that same thing, though. Like, it's like the fridge breaks and I kind of start panicking. And he's like, it's okay, we can't do anything about yeah, it. I, I figure like it out. Too. And then, but if it's like, you know, something little, like, like he had a, like he had a really lights. good potato chip in his hand and then he dropped it on the floor and he doesn't want to eat it anymore. He gets pissed about that. <laughs> That's me. Yeah. Well, I'm just cranky because, you know, I went for a walk at the mall today and my knees hurt. Mm. You know, I'm like, oh, I want my knees to be 20. That makes me cranky. I can see why old people are cranky. Because I just, yeah, but I just, I just both put myself in the old people demographic and took myself right out of it pretty quick. You use the old people discount at the grocery store. I do. I got that when I was double nickel. <laughs> I don't know if I like these feet, but I think it's because I'm on top of them. Let's stop fussing with them and move on to the body. Okay, you could be done. This is the blue showing through, but I like it. The tail does go over to the side. Oh, I have a leaf. I kind of had a leaf. What a leaf. Two leaves. Yeah, I, you know, I'm going to want to splatter, but I don't want to splatter. Hmm. I'm going to have to be careful. I don't know. I don't, I'm not crazy about that. It's going to be too dark. I'm just going to grab some of my brown. Well, I sure like a little brush. I basically draw or scribble with it. Kind of funny. If you want a looser painting, usually use a bigger brush. If you want a faster painting, use a bigger brush. Leanne says, hi guys, running late tonight. Love the chickadee. Hi, thank you. Thanks for still coming to hang out with us. 
I am fussing. Okay. He looks fuzzy. I like when they look fuzzy. <laughs> Do too. Mm -hmm. I, I, I over focus on the fuzzy. I've got his head turned a little bit. Instead of profile, I've got it turned a little bit towards us. It's all right. I actually put some palette knife on here at the gallery. I'm trying to decide what to do. You work, when you don't want to do work back to front, so this is underneath that. I need kind of a creamy color. Just another layer, maybe. Kind of exaggerate his feather direction. Kind of blend in my sections a little bit. Let's play with it. Like I said, this could be done. Stream over. No, 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 no. There's actually some darker feathers that go up. Oh, I, I tucked his wing down. You can kind of see up and under his wing a little bit. I don't know yeah. if I'm gonna fix that or not. I'm just stamping, kind of turning my brush. It might be too much detail. I'll come back and paint it all out. That I do that quite a bit. And really, I should be painting this before this, because the dark brown is underneath. But as long as I have this little black, little brown. Just leave it. And then I don't. It's hard just to leave it, I think. <laughs> you don't know how to just leave it? Well, I think I told the flower arranging class I took in college story, didn't I? I don't know. So I took a flower arranging class because I needed, I took all the art classes I could. Mm -hmm. um, I really should have just minored in art. I, I, I technically did, just never declared it, you know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, I needed something else. For some reason, so I thought, oh, flower range will be fun and easy. I wanted to keep, so you have that green foam back then, especially. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to be 60 shortly here. So you have that green foam block, and you stick something in it, and you leave it. Because you pull it out, it's going to be all wiggly. If you stick it back in a little mm -hmm. differently, mm -hmm. I mean, it, it like starts to disappear. And I, I, ha I could not leave it alone. And, and it was really like you just stick it in and fill it. It's just like a painting. Just stick it in, fill it in, and keep working the composition. You know, but don't. I was so bad at it because I would not leave it alone. And you can only got one foam block, you know, because mm -hmm. that was part of your lab fee or whatever they called it. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. I was bad at it because I couldn't. I, I kept fussing. You know, you, you really what I needed to do is like stick the main one maybe straight up or off this way and then stick another one. Mm -hmm. You know, kind of like how you would, very much like how you'd build a painting. You know, I remember one of my friends said, you have a thriller going up and then like a spiller going over. I was just like, oh, I was, I'm using dark brown, just kind of painting in some feather shapes, just swiping at it. I was terrible at it. I think I dropped the class. <laughs> Is that stressful? Well, yeah. I'm like, I, I couldn't, it wasn't like, this isn't going well and I do not have a good grade. <laughs> it's going to wreck my GPA. The artist cared about her GPA. I'm just kind of swiping and dry brushing. Not much is coming off sometimes. And then I get a little, little something. I need to step back. Here, well, here I can look at the stream. 
Oh, geez, it has me back at... <laughs> oh, it's getting there. Always smooths it out, but that's a good way to step it back. Step yeah. back from it. I, need to pick, I feel like I need to pick up the speed here. Just kind of wipe, watching my swipe direction. Oh, swipe or no swiping? What was that? Um, that's Dora, the Dora, Explorer. Dora, the Explorer. Is that still on? I don't know. Might be too light. Oh, you know, kind of looks like that in the reference photo. Whoop. I'm just trying to grab some brown, the corner of my brush. Okay. So at this point I start playing with blending in the underpainting, if you want to call it that. Looking at my values. That could probably go darker. What color did you paint your nails, Em? Like a black chrome. Ooh. For Christmas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Might just soften that up a little bit. Whack at it. It looks more interesting in the bottle, but that's what it looks like. Sorry about the noisy drink. Ooh, that is pretty. Oh, I can kind of see it depending on which way your hand turns. All right, let's work on up here. And my leaves are a little thin for my liking, but I think it's starting to look kind of good. I look better, in my opinion. Which is, you know, when you're painting, it's what you want, what you like. Brush stroke, oh, I'm not getting any change there. <laughs> Brush stroke direction helps a lot. Oh, that dried really fast. I feel like this place is drier. Maybe, yeah. Could totally be. I don't think it is. Plus I'm mouth breathing. Maybe your mouth breathing is drying it out faster. Oh, the canvas? Yeah. <laughs> and me. Doesn't need that. It's fun to play with it. I'm gonna grab a little white corner of my brush and wipe it I wiped off the white ooh too much and it dried right away okay where's my wing I haven't really defined my wing I've kind of done it a couple of times I think it actually comes on my reference photo it comes up there like that. Okay. And I was thinking I might um, just kind of dry brush a little white on here. She says with a question mark in her. And then uh, it's going to dry so fast. Come back with a little yellow. See if we like it. A little sun glow. Okay. I feel like I need a little something right here. Right here. Yeah. He needs a little texture. Or just a little coverage. I'm mm -hmm. right on top of it though. You may not need it at all. At this stage I do step back quite a bit. And what I do 
happens slower. And it's fun. Here, I just had a thought that might be. So you don't have to do this everywhere, but every once in a while, if you think of it, I have blue, phthalo blue green shade straight out of the tube. It goes to kind of a black brown, and then it has a little bit lighter black. It can look fun. It can be fun. You could paint that shadow all the same color, but it can be more interesting and entertaining and fun to change the color. But if you're painting like a tube color painting, that doesn't apply. I'm going to grab a little white on the corner of my brush and see if maybe that's there. That's what I want. Now, if it's everywhere, it's nowhere, and I'm already putting it. Wow, this is drying fast. It's thin, but I'm still like, whoa. Mm hmm. No, oh, we're okay. Okay, let's work on this and we'll work on the wing and then we'll splatter. I've got 30 minutes. And I wonder if the leaves need to be less green still. Um, if you want it to be winter. Well, they're on the tree. They're not all dead. It's, it's early snow. What I need to do is top of his head. Let's do this first. I'm going to do straight up white. Oh, he actually... Yeah, I have his head turned a little bit looking at us. I'm, I'm going to leave that. Because otherwise the black would run down a little bit back here. So I dip my brush in the corner of my white. And now I'm starting to put on thicker paint. And I'm a little looser. Now I need to stop. He, his, the whole side of his face is in the light. Mm-hmm. It is. We could go further. How far do we want to go? I'm going pretty far. <laughs> <laughs> is he too fuzzy for a bird? Um, I think most of your birds... Technically are too fuzzy, but yeah. I like them. They're fuzzy. Oh, is he they too look so sweet, you know? Okay. Yeah. Well, and my eyes are too... Um, I don't know what. I draw the eyes out. Eh, I don't want to do that. Too light. See if I can wake up some of that paint that's dried onto the styrofoam better and probably it's going to dry down and we won't notice i'm just going to beat up on it a little bit there mm -hmm. <laughs> do you like that i beat up on mm -hmm. it i just grabbed a little bit of white in my dirty brush i'm overthinking this a lot of times i can get away with smearing it but it just isn't tonight i'll have to get used it could just be winter too Mm -hmm. And it would have been just as dry in my other studio. Yeah. I just hadn't noticed. Well, you complain about the dryness every year. I do. Oh, I just broke my plate. <gasps> You're so strong. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I need Oh, to... I really... You hear that pop on the... Oh, do you? Yeah. Sorry, guys. Probably because it just happened like right in front of you. Oh yeah, I leaned in and my mic's like right there. I really like, I don't know how it's gonna dry. Oh gosh, my knee's cranky. I really like that thick piece of white right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, and I can I can just hear somebody who's not ours going, oh that's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, right, Becky. Freckles? I'm gonna put a little white right here. My bestie. Hi, bestie. Hi. Hi, bestie. They know you're here. Hi, bestie. She, Freckles is boss. Hey, boss. 
I know, you're boss. She projects. She's so little. She's a, um, oh, I'd say a medium hair tortie. Mm-hmm. She kind of has a little bit of a split face above her, on her eyebrows. A little bit. I guess she has one cheek, cheek kind of. Hey, bestie. What do you think? Okay, I think that's pretty good. I don't know what we're doing next week. I mean, I have a couple ideas, but it kind of depends on what else I can get done. Mm -hmm. All right, what do we want to do here? It's black, black and white. <laughs> Marty says Prickles agrees that the white looks great. <laughs> yeah, and having, like, you know, putting it on as a second layer... I just saw something. I think I want to bring... Do you agree? Yeah. I can't forget to do the top of his head, although it's starting to look better. The more I get done with the bird and the more layers I get on it, the less the unfinished top of the head, because the blue comes through, but it's almost like a highlight. It doesn't look as bad. Okay. Let's just kind of mix. Marty oh. speaks freckle. <laughs> oh, I, I could use some an interpreter. <laughs> Sometimes she screams. Oh, she this, this morning I was eating breakfast and she was trying to tell me something. I'm like, I don't know what you want. I, I had no idea. She and she's want, like, call Marty. <laughs> yeah. She didn't want petting. She didn't, you know. I'm like, yeah. I don't know what you want. Mm, poor Boo. So I'm gonna go a little darker. And then sometimes I'm like, I'm eating, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just like, I don't know what you want. I always feed her first. Probably because I hope she'll leave me alone. <laughs> I mean, I really like her company. It's just, you know. Eating peas. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm just going to put some gray in here because I'm not getting exactly what I wanted. I feel like I'm breathing heavy tonight. And I totally changed this wing. I don't know what to do with it. I was probably looking at my other painting. Okay. Let's grab some... Let's do white first. It doesn't really matter. Marty says she she wants a seat at the table. <laughs> oh, probably. Yeah. Okay. I want to pick this up and and do this off camera. I'm not going to worry about how many I get in there. I kind of like the blue showing through. I might just leave. Mm -hmm. Me too. Leave some of it. Mm -hmm. That wasn't too bad for off to the right. And I was literally on my tippy toe on one leg. I need to put that down. Okay. I can tell I'm really concentrating on the painting when I don't realize my toes are numb. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, my toe is numb. All right, so now I don't know what to do here. I'm gonna, did I, I don't think I saved it to my iPad. No, I didn't. My first painting. Oh, the traceable they threw on the floor. Do you want me to get it? No, it doesn't help me. Okay. I've got this weird flip. I could just paint it out. I have to decide. I'm trying to figure out what we're eating tomorrow. <laughs> Do you want to cook or you want me to buy? I said I'll cook, but you buy. Well, okay, yeah. Do you want to go out? Oh. I buy either I way. I don't know. The, okay, so ever since I was, I logged into your messenger, the amount of, yes. it's urgent, messages yes. you get in a day is insane. Oh. Like the, dear admin, it's urgent. Like, you're... 
my, violating my facebook page has been shut down yeah, or whatever like, oh my gosh i swipe so many away yeah if you want to find me a, a youtube comment or the annie tro art friends facebook group are the best places i have a public email that i'm better with um i'm much better with it i used to be pretty bad at it i'd forget to go check it i straighten the wing out Just keep swiping. I'm not crazy about the dip. I think it's okay. There's a dip right in here. I think we're okay. I think I leave it alone. I think I look at the stream. Oh, that looks pretty. <laughs> mm -hmm. It does. I'm right on. I'm six inches from it. it. Looks so pretty. Oh, that's fun. Mm -hmm. I like the little bit of glow I got going here. Yeah, and I like his warmer belly. Uh huh. I even put some ended up with some green in it, but I like that. Cause I have some green in the leaves. You know what we could do? I'm just rinsing off my brush and wiping it off, wiping it off on a paper towel. I'm gonna take some orange and just kind of load up my palette knife. It's transparent because my um, cad yellow, I'm, I know some of you guys know this, but there's always new people. That little box is half full. So it means it's trans semi-transparent and my, same with my quinacridone. Oh, a person on, in the YouTube comments was telling me how the heavy body's much better hmm. paint, which I, it's supposed to be. Yeah. Um, it's creamier. So if you like creamier, thicker, definitely. Um, but as far as like coverage and pigmentation, maybe it's because I paint thin. Mm. I really mm -hmm. don't notice the difference. The student grade basics is I'm like, wow. I like the price and I like the outcome. I bet it's because you paint thin, you know. Because I paint in layers. Yeah. yeah. And I like the transparency. Oh, so that might be a little too. Um... Oh, maybe not. I'm thinking it's a little too. All one color right there. I'm not changing it. So one reason why I added the orange is I've got all this blue. Start playing with compliments. It's like where? Ooh, don't like that. I'm just going to grab my 3 8 inch, if I can find it, brush. Ah, yeah, when it's not so thin, it doesn't dry instantly. Just kind of clean it up a little bit. Oh, my leaf. I colored outside the lines. <gasps> we'll just make it a bigger leaf. It'll grow. Maybe some brown. I know some of the trees here, it's been so dry, like they haven't dropped their leaves and they're just brown shriveled things. Have mm -hmm. you seen that? Yeah. It's like, oh. It was a pretty fall for a little bit. I can't remember what happened. We didn't have a freeze, but it just kind of. It was really windy for a while. Oh, maybe that's what it was. Yeah, they all wind. blew off. Yeah, that's probably what it was. There, that looks at least a little more fall-like. Are we done? What, is that bird done? Oh, no, the head. Oh, another thing I kind of want to do. So a lot of times I'll just, like I had, I was using that big brush for the wing and now I've got this brush in my hand. I want to put, I'm going to probably mess it up because it's pretty nice the way it is. I want to have more rounding. It might be too round. I probably shouldn't have done that, what I just did. <laughs> I'm going to grab some white.
and it's probably gonna end up looking just ah, just the same. I need a little more paint on my. All I'm gonna do is getting more white. Okay, I think I need to let it dry, and I'm gonna put some. I need to let it dry, but I don't want to forget about it. I'm gonna put some white. Darn it! I don't know if you saw me shaking there. Darn thing. <laughs> just keep playing. I'm just looking at the values. I'll grab a little yellow and white if it's not dry. Kind of stamping. So I made this bird a little fatter and chubbier than the reference photo. And then when I, somehow when I traced it on, or else the traceable is that way. Oh, the traceable is that way. I have it turned a little bit. So all I'm trying to do is basically, if I was painting an apple, um, oh, that's probably a bad example. But your darkest area, well, that is a bad example. I'm just trying to make it look round by having it light here, then it goes darker, and then it comes lighter again. There we go. I found the words. So this wing might actually be too round now because it's really coming out. Is it too round, Em? Maybe look at the, oh, the stream and step back from it. I think I've got it coming out too much. Uh, yeah. Yep, I think I do. I like it. I like the idea of it. Let's go back to my reference photo. Okay, I'm going to go back to the way it was. I'm going to take the bigger brush, but that's how you make it rounder. Have it, have it gradate from light to dark. And in the case of an apple, there's going to be reflective light. Like there's reflective light right here, bouncing from somewhere else. That really helps too. Leanne asks, what size is the canvas? 10 by 10. I might have forgot to say. No, I think you said the very, very beginning. All right, we'll see what we think of that. And let it dry. All right, work on the leaves and we'll splatter. Or work on the head, I keep forgetting the head. Don't forget the head. Okay, that was probably a loud swallow. <laughs> oh, you know what's kind of fun? It's in the reference photo, you can see little, say so see stuff. And it's like, stop. Ah. Should I put some orange up in the head? It's orange with a little bit of brown in it when I mixed it. Just wiped off the excess paint on a paper towel. I feel like it feels very golf channel to me. <laughs> Lining up the putt. Mm -hmm. I hated it watching is. golf on TV. I enjoyed golf that for that stretch I played it. It's fun. All right, we need to go darker. We could leave it blue. I'm just gonna look in the stream. Oh, well, it's not bad. We're gonna go darker. Um, let's just go with some straight up Mars black. Some artists think you should never use out of the tube black. Um, mixing a black is richer, which is the absolute truth. But I don't know. I don't know. It's up to you guys. You do you. I will mix blacks and I will use blacks. I'm just... Dabbing, blobbing. I was thinking I should um, paint some texture on a painting like I do the backgrounds. You know how I always have a swirl or directional something in the background when I do a, I do a lot of animal portraits. This is an animal portrait. 
I think texture could be fun. I don't do that too much. That was the quietest sneeze. I know I held I, it in. I do. I, even when I hold it in, I explode. Yeah, your sneezes are so loud. Oh, Freckles just looks at me like. Did you have to do that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to eat you. I bet she does. I'm going to kill you and eat you. You will taste better than the packaged tuna I get. <gasps> she gets people tuna. So if you guys look at the video two years ago, it's linked in this video's description. Let me know if you like that green swirl background. I really swirled it. It's like, like a, like a bullseye. I think that bird's done. He's sweet. We can play with a little bit of white. Might be too strong. Stop, I'm doing it everywhere. Oh, we need a highlight in the eye. See what I can do? My head's probably in there. Or my chin. Yeah, I don't think I like those over here. We can put some yellow over them when they dry. Look, sometimes little pops of... We need some snow too, little pops of color or white will lead you around, little dots, spots. That's what I wanted to do with this wing. Oh, is the wing better? It's still kind of jumping off. Oh, yeah, it still is. But I don't know what to do for it. I think it's the curve, Yeah. too. Because mm -hmm. I'm, part of it's, part of it's just my handwriting. Mm-hmm. It reads better on the stream, I think. Maybe not, I don't know. I could, um, yeah, it reads better on the stream. Leanne says, adorable, love your birds. Thank you. The, um, I think it was a titmouse on a yellow green background with some red leaves. Like, oh, the colors on that one. Just juicy, juicy. So if you keep your paint, so thin is hard to know. Thin enough that you're not getting like the chunks I really liked up here, the thick bits. You can keep correcting. I think I just got too expressive with that wing. See if I can do it on camera off to the right and make it straight <laughs> on one butt cheek. There we go. Does that just, does that paint a picture? <laughs> I don't know if you can hear me wiggling around. I think the leaves are better. Yeah, I like the leaves a lot better. I gotta, hopefully that's in frame. Mm, I like the idea of that. Bring it in. So I kind of think of it like confetti. And if it's everywhere, it's nowhere, and I really love to do it everywhere. It calls more attention, more contrast, more detail than those two. Should we try a little yellow over the inside? Like, oh, I still don't like them. Grab a little brown. Okay. Maybe if I use an off-white. All right, where's my reference photo? 
It curves a little bit, not a ton. Shannon says the yellow is gorgeous. I missed what you mixed to get it. Uh, it's right out of the two. Cad yellow, medium hue. Oh, this color? Maybe? Maybe. It's still... Here, maybe if I do this. Make the wing bigger. That was one big wing. It's a big wing. Jeez. Sometimes you should leave it alone. <laughs> About th four wings ago. <laughs> yeah, uh, this color, that's a yellow. Is that the one? Okay. On the bird. Right here? So probably is, yeah. Right oh, so it's belly. probably a little cad yellow, a little bit of my brown, and some white, and a dirty brush. And a dirty brush. <laughs> it's kind of a um, Naples yellow with more white in it, hmm. if that helps. Here, I'm going to kind of do it. Shannon okay. says, thank you. Yeah. A lot of times I can't get the same color again, um, but it, it's close. I'm working with primary, so that's the nice thing. It's going to be unified. Well, they're not literal primary, primaries. That's thalo blue green shade down there. Um, so I'm just making his butt a little bigger to help that wing feel like it belongs. I don't know if that really worked. Um, it's okay. You can get something close and just blend it in. I don't know if I finished that thought I was going off after. There, does that help his wing not be so huge? It's big in the reference photo. I'm just fixated on it. I bet you someone, if I don't point it out to someone, they're not mm -hmm. going to see it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I don't. All of us now. I need to step back. Oh, here, let's hit the stream. This, but I think this is good. This is the huh? stuff that literally happens in my studio while I'm videoing. You know. Ooh, I don't know what color I got in my brush. I got a whole hunk of brown that I picked up, picked up from somewhere. Let's just scrape that off. And use it. It's not the color I wanted, but we'll just use it. Here. So what went through my head is shift the color. It can be more entertaining and interesting. Let's see if that helps it a little bit. So being one big gray and white swipey blob. Paintings get slower as you get towards the end because I'm making I'm making all kinds of decisions. I think I just fixed the wing, but you'll have to let me know when you see it in the stream, Em. I'm going to grab a little white on the mm -hmm. corner of my brush. Sometimes it takes a while for it to pop into your head what to do. Sometimes you don't know, but you just keep painting. Like if you look, like as I mentioned, I painted this two years ago. You just get better. If you can paint more often, even if it's like, that's why I paint a lot of animal portraits, because I can paint more of them rather than a big, complicated. I don't paint, I painted one complicated landscape, that yellow and aqua one. I just sold a few months ago. Hmm. I think I called it in the air. Anyway, I don't do many of them because I just take longer. I always say, I'm going to do it when I get caught up. <laughs> I'm going to put a little white on the tip of my brush and try to just do a couple. And try to be random. And then we need like a little, I'm just going to get my brush dirty in the grayish. This seems a little flat to me. Just swipe it a little bit. I think I'm beyond overthinking it. I'm going to move Mr. Sun up. I wonder if I could um, kind of protect it. When I splatter, I think that bird's more than done. Yeah. I think it's cooked. It's fully cooked. Do we need darker on this leaf? You probably can't see it. Em. If you want it. I don't know if it's in the and must. Uh, I guess because. It's in the foreground. Yeah. More. There are things I forget to do. I'll take it to the gallery and go, huh, it'll sell. 
You know, like, huh, yeah. like I forgot a toe, <laughs> you know? Like, hmm. Can you hear that plate? It could maybe even still use more. There's a rooster painting. It's not, I don't have it linked anywhere. It's very colorful and I really used the background and then came back and added more background swipes to really incorporate the image in with the painting. This one might need it. I don't know. We'll see what happens with the snow. I'm just cleaning off some brushes. Well, I timed that about right as far as how long was it going to take me to finish this? I <laughs> think you did. Pretty good. I think we've got like five minutes. All that mulling over it did did good for you. It's hard to know. Because sometimes you get like that wing. I, I think I had it much better. I'll have to go back and look at the video. So I'm adding white or water to my white to make it like milk. Um, I'll have to go back and look at it and see which version I like. That happens to me a lot. You know, I'll, I'll fixate on something and overpaint it. It's all right. It's kind of funny. That's why I like to paint thinner and then at the end I'll sometimes put on some thick. These actually turned out nice. I don't know there's too many of them, but the little pricklies under his chin. He needs a name. And I don't know if the snow is going to make sense, but we're going to do it anyway. Oh, I need some snow on the branch too. It's going to come back at me at this angle. I'm close just so it doesn't go very far. That's good. I like that. Oh, snow is the best. Mm -hmm. Splattering is the best. I pretty much splatter once, one time a year. Every once in a while. I'll... Ooh, I like it when it does that. I'll... Oh, the skip? It kind of, yeah, it kind of yeah. makes a drizzle. Mm -hmm. Oh, here, we haven't done much of a tour. Everybody can't not obsess about the wing now. <laughs> That's one of the reasons I like painting. I mean, it messes with your head. But it also, learn, it, it's good for me. It's good. For, I think it's good for people because you learn to, like, it's like playing a sport. Oh, we used to say shake it off. You know, stuff happens. You know, I used to play softball. There's more innings. Or, hey, we lost today. You know, tomorrow's a better day. And stuff just happens. Usually I cover up the eye, but this one's big enough that I'm not too worried about. Mm -hmm. Hope I'm not getting on the wall. Off camera, I'll, I'll splatter the sides, or off camera, off stream. I've been picking paint splatters off my glasses and my, um, oh, look how red my hand is, my hands. I have to sign it too. Oh, we should have had hunch cam. I wonder if that makes any sense when I say, say that to people. I'm hunched over really bad. A lot of times I'll take a shade of blue, like a darker blue, and splatter that too, but I don't think I'm going to. I just got paint on my lip. I don't think I'm going to do that with this one. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to sign it later. You guys let me know which corner, bottom right or bottom left. I don't know if it matters. That side, I think. Right here? Mm-hmm. We can let the, we'll see if the chat agrees with you. Cordova the, says it's beautiful. Thank you. See if the repay, replay crew agrees with you. I'm looking for a brush with a bigger handle. Oh, I'm going over now. <gasps> my watch. Oh, my goodness. This might be too big, but I'm going to dip it in the white. Ooh. It's, I got a piece of dry white, or starting to dry white. Oh, 
super lopsided. I don't know if that matters. It can be just my brush or it could be the paint. I like having different size. I think it's a little bowl. Oh. It would be good if I um, put this in the easel like you're supposed to, behind the lip, and then there's a thing up here that holds it. I never use the thing up here. And it holds it in there, and then you tighten it, and you don't have those problems. If you used it properly. If you use it properly. <laughs> All right, so I've got four. And I could have like, almost like a domino five. It's like, where's the next one go? I still think we need some medium ones. Let me try that brush handle. Some brush handles, like especially if you oil paint and it stays wet, can be nice scrapers. I don't know if you can see that. Can scrape it. You could literally write your name in it like oil paint. A lot of them use a stick. Oh, that's pretty big still. Let's um, let's try my splatter brush. This was like the my splatter brush is just a craft brush. I pick it because it's a little longer and it'll wiggle more, but it has a decent amount of bristles in it. So I think it's looking okay now. I think the snow's okay. I don't think it, I think it makes sense. Everyone's agreeing left, by the way, too. Okay, thanks, your... guys. Shannon, Cindy, and Deborah agree left. Do I have too many? Should I stop? <laughs> Do I need more little ones? It's, it's like, it's fun. Okay, stop. <laughs> Do I need more little ones? They kind of fade. I always expect an instant response. I know, there's a lag. We've been streaming two, at least two years. Mm -hmm. I I'll say like, and then by the time I'm like, ah, I'm gonna do more. Poor people in chat don't get a chance to. Of course you always say, that was too many. You should have stopped. Deborah says, it looks windy and snowy. Very pretty. It does look windy. Yep, that was the whole point of the, the three. Yeah. This pink swipe. It does look windy. And then the purple swipes. Mm -hmm. And then there is a hint of pink, but it really fades back in there. Are we, did we go over freckles? Is we it did. time to pay attention to you? Yeah. I hope you guys can hear. Mm. Oh, I just almost got the camera. I don't know if you saw that. In. Hey, bestie. What's up? I guess the camera, AKA my phone. If it's everywhere, so it's running through my mind. That usually means stop, but it takes me a while to stop. <laughs> okay. All right, that worked. I was a little scared. Just a little scared. Usually you can't go wrong with blue and white. Am I stopping today? Oh. Um, yeah, because I'm going to have to hold up Artie because I've got oh, yeah. so much wet paint. Okay, Beckle, i got to get up. I'm going to look at the chat quick here. Oh. Excuse me, Beck. I can see you guys. What did Shannon say? Shannon said left. The, said, no, the oh. long snow. Oh, now your finger's moving. Oh, sorry. The long snow splatters are perfect. Are a perfect addition to the windy effect. Yeah, I like it too. Thank you. And Marty says, you all have a great week. I love the painting. It kind of reminds me of one of my sneezes. <laughs> Is that gross or what? No. That's gross. <laughs> Do we need to, here, I think I did a close-up of already, but. Freckie. It's okay, Freckles. Okay, guys, it's so fun to hang out with you. I hope it's helpful to watch me muddle through it and hear my literal thoughts that I would, I'm thinking to myself when I'm alone, when I'm painting. It's the same stuff that happens. Um, I'm thinking that's helpful. I don't know. I hope I, I think, think so. I think other YouTube artists do that, but I really don't know. I don't watch them. Yeah. You're staring at me, but I also don't mm. paint. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, at least you're not alone if you struggle. I struggle too. Oh, Marty says bye, Freckles. <laughs> freckles, Marty says bye. Marty says bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. okay, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. We love Wednesdays. It's so fun to chat with you. We also love the people in the replay just as much. Super appreciate your support. Oh, I don't have Artie up here. <gasps> Great big happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>